Hey, would you like to improve your volleys? In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to improve your volleys. And we're going to use a little technique that I'm showing you right now. I'm going to explain it to you. And you're going to get to work on your volley without even, even having an opponent or a partner. You can actually toss the ball to yourself and work on your volleys. And we're going to show you how that's going to go in this lesson. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, and I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. And we're one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And we're absolutely passionate about helping players just like you get to the next level. So let's get started right now. Now, this is what we're going to focus on. We're going to get our balls and we're going to work on our technique. And that's what we're going to practice. So I'm going to go get a ball right now. And we're going to talk about some things that we need to focus on with the volley. We're going to do the forehand volley and the backhand volley. First things first, continental grip. So, so important to have a continental grip. A lot of players have that forehand grip. They try to volley like this. They're never going to learn how to volley like the pro. So you got to have that continental grip. Next, when you get set up and you're going to be tossing the ball to yourself, again, remember, you don't have a partner. This is the situation, but you still want to improve your volleys. You're going to get in this position, and what I want you to do is I want you to set the racket like this. So now if I were to remove the racket, it would be like I was just reaching out to catch a ball like this. Okay? So you're just going to set the racket like this. So notice how the, the, racket, the racket tip is going up at an angle, and the hand is right in front of the shoulders, the elbow is in front, it's all in a line right here. This is your first beginning stage, so I just set the racket like this. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to turn sideways. I don't have to step in yet. I don't have to do any of it. I just set the racket like this. So you can go record your own video or even take a picture and see if this is your starting position. I see some players just take the racket back there, you know, hack a shack, hack attack volleys. They just take the racket back like this. No, just set the racket here. Okay, next, I want you to angle your body at a 45 degree angle like this. So I was in my ready position. I'm here and I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna turn my shoulders a little bit, like a quarter turn like this. A lot of players are turning sideways. Okay. Leave a comment down below if you think you turn sideways on your volleys, on your forehand or your backhand. If you do, say yes. If you don't, say no. I hope you don't. If you do, that means you've probably been taught by someone to turn sideways on your volleys. Not doing that here at Tennis Evolution. Okay, We're going to focus on getting that racket here and getting the shoulders in this position. Now, what I'm going to do, now notice what I'm doing with my body. I'm bending my knees. Okay, I'm not standing up like this. So I'm in a wide base and I'm down. So look at where my head is. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video. We don't want to be in this position, right? I mean, we want to be in this position right here. The head is close to the head. So I'm set like this. I'm not like this. I'm not like this. My racket and my hand are connected to my head like there's an imaginary string connected from my ear to the racket right here, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it in front of me like this just a little, little mini toss, and look what I'm doing. How much am I swinging right now when I do this? Not very much, right? See, a lot of players are coming in and they're swinging and they're just hacking across with a full follow through. We had a VIP student send us a video. We do video reviews for them, okay? For him and for others. And he was taking his racket all the way back and he was having a big follow through. Nope. Set the racket like I talked about. Toss the ball, little simple toss right in front of the racket, right here. Look at that. That's all you got to do. And then you just stop the racket. Look at that. Stop the racket. My racket, I'm starting here. I take a little backswing, and then I just stop the racket. So we've got our grip. Okay, continental grip. You can even choke up a little bit on the grip like this. I like to choke up for control. We've got our first move. We've got our 45 degree angle. Okay, we've got our little mini toss, and then we just stop the racket. And look at how my head, my head goes with the racket like this. It doesn't go like this, where it's disconnected from my body and my head. It's a big key right there for you, okay? Now, the other thing I want you to focus on is your offhand, too. So when I toss and I finish, look at where my offhand is. It's just here for balance. So I see some players, when they swing, they cross like this. They swing across like this. That means your, your arms and your hands are not connected. So I like to have players stop and hold and let's see where, where you're at with your hands. You could even be like in this position. We just don't want you to be crossed, okay? You're gonna be here. So if I were to drop the racket, 
to be like I'm just holding a ball right here. So I'm here, look at my hands, and I'm here. See how they go together? They work together. Your hands and your arms are working together. That's a huge key for you to get down. And you know what? You can even add a little footwork to this as well. You can even step in. And if you want, you can bring your leg through. I hit it and I bring the leg th through. I hit it and I bring the leg through. That's a fun little drill. You can even take it another step with the footwork. What if you want to move through your volley and close? You can step through, step through, and then split. Watch this again. Step through and then split. You want to teach yourself how to volley? Great drill. You can sit here for hours and do this. You got all the time in the world to work on your volleys this way, right? Now that's all about the forehand. We got to cover the backhand now. All right, so we're going to get into the backhand volley right now. Let's assume you have a one-handed volley, one-handed backhand volley, because you could toss the ball in the air and put two hands on the racket. So it is possible to do that. But I think it's difficult to have a two-handed volley doing that. So we're going to focus on the one hand, which is also difficult because, look, you're tossing the ball in the air, and then you need to, then you need to find the throw to the racket. That's not easy to do. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you and say this is so easy and you're going to improve in the next five minutes. This may take a little time on the backhand side. But I want you to see all the consistent themes at place. You get set with your continental, rack, uh, continental grip. You choke up a little bit. Now, you can't just set the racket here before you toss on the backhand volley. Okay, Because you have this hand on the racket and you're holding this ball. So what you're going to have to do is you can slide the racket this way a little bit. You can get into that 45 degree angle and now you take, the, you take your off hand off the racket and you're going to throw it up underneath like this. See that? You're not going to throw it like this. You're not going to drop it down. You're going to throw it underneath, underneath the racket like this. So you throw it up and then you find this. So that's your first progression. You're going to throw the ball up and all you're going to do, look, when I throw my hand up, look, it goes right towards the throw to the racket, just like that. So you can just practice this for 30 minutes until this gets comfortable. Notice again, not turning sideways. Whoever told you to turn sideways on the volley, scary, okay? Wonder why we don't have any Grand Slam champs in the last 20 years from the US? It's because I think coaching needs to improve. And again, you're gonna leave a comment and say, stop bashing other coaches. I'm just being honest. We need to up-level the coaching education in America and I'm committed to doing that, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Back to the focus here. We toss the ball underhand and we hold. And then look at my body. My shoulders have turned, but my hips did not. Big key, right? We don't want to be here. Nope, not doing that. We're going to toss and we're going to hold. Now, once you get that, notice how the racket, there's a slight backswing here. So I'm not like this. I'm not like this. All I do is just lay the hand back. So if I were to take the hand out, racket out of the hand, I'm just in this position right here. Okay, just right here. Toss it up, I'm right here. Okay, now we have to swing. Make it nice and easy. You don't have to swing a lot. Boom. Okay, and I say boom, there really is no boom. Okay, I toss it up and I just stop. When I make contact, I stop. That's what I think of doing. A lot of you are going to swing and go too long. I want you to stop. Also notice the racket face is open. So that's how I can lead with this bottom edge and I can get the underst underspin I want. So lead with the bottom edge and I just stop the racket. Okay, we want to avoid going too long. We want to keep the head close to the head. So when I toss and catch, look at where my racket head is. It's close to my head. And look at where it is when I'm done swinging. It's close to the head. Now, I haven't been focusing on the offhand, but let's talk about that. The offhand is there for balance, and I like to bring the offhand up. On some of these volleys, I realized I was keeping it down. That's a habit of mine because I used to have a two-handed backhand volley 30 years ago, but also because I'm focusing on all these other things. So even if this offhand goes down, it's still okay. But once you start to get it, I like having the offhand up like this, closer to the ear, closer to the head. Again, notice how I'm stepping to the ball as well. See how I'm stepping? I'm not stepping like this, okay? I'm here. So I'm going 
to the ball like this. So my hips are still facing the net like this. Now, if I have to move wide, of course, I'm going to have to turn sideways. All right. But if the ball is in front of me and I'm moving forward, this is my turn and look at my hips. And so that's what you're working on when you just toss the ball to yourself. That's what you're working on. Now you can just add bringing the foot through if you want. See how I square up? <clears throat> I square up and I can even bring my legs, my back foot through. So I can bring it through like this as if I'm closing the net. Finish it off with a split. Step in, through, split. Okay, that's a lot to cover, right? That's a whole dissertation on the volley in one lesson. Remember the grip. Remember your first move. Keep the racket head close. Okay. Remember your toss, that when you toss the ball, you should be able to find the throw to the racket right here. Remember a small little swing where as soon as you make contact, you stop the racket. You open up the racket face and you learn how to get a little underspin. You hold the finish. You bring this, this offhand up. Keep the racket close to your body. Use your feet correctly. It's all magic when you do it right. Just, just do one step at a time. Get one progression at a time on your forehand volley and your backhand volley. Don't try to get all seven things. Just take your time with this, work on these progressions and get the technique down. It's the attention to detail that will really matter. And that's what I want for you because I want you to get to the next level. Now, if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, get out on the courts and work on these drills. And before you go, VIP coaching for you, absolutely free with our certified coaches. We want to help you transform your game in 30 days and beyond. I want you to work on that VIP coaching. I think that plane right there, he's looking for our coaches. He wants to sign up for VIP coaching. He is absolutely, yeah, he's going like 200 miles an hour to try to get VIP coaching from us because you can send videos in of your technique on your volleys and your forehand, your serve. And those techniques, you're going to get analyzed. You're going to get a prescription plan. It's all going to be broken down for you. So go ahead and click below. We've got a link down there to help you get free VIP coaching for us for 30 days. We'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks.